of downage though, this little creek. We've drained it right here. Perfect for bait to hang around. We're just going to try to catch some garfish, snub nose gar, river gar, the short bill ones. All you need is a, some bread. Little size 10 hook that's just tied onto some 8 pound line. You can use lighter, I just already had that on there. And just no sinker, no weight, just the hook. People use a float, but when you're fishing here and they're like so close to the edge, you don't need a float. You just got to drop it over the edge. There it is. That on, you just flick it out. You just look down to your C1, and then you just want to flick it over in front of them. It's the best option. go there. Nice little garfish. They sort of just do laps up and down so you just wait for them to come close enough. If you want to get out a bit distance you'd probably use a float rig so you got a bit more weight to get out to them. Just go another bit of bread. Now you need a little tiny piece. Let's put it on your hook. Try to keep it floating if you can. Don't mould it on too much because it will sink. They don't attack it. They like it on the surface. So that's where you want to keep it. Back out again. Put that bit of angle on him when he hits it. Set the hook in a bit better. There we go. Another nice little garfish. See if we can get a couple more. Always just take enough what you need for bait. There's no need catching them hundreds of them. And you need a few. You always come back tomorrow and catch a few more if you need more. You just gotta persist. And like I said, when you get one grab it. Try to right, hold your rod like that a bit to the angle instead of pulling it straight in because you just pull it out of their mouth. You sort of just got to put a little bit of angle on it. And it helps hook them in the corner of the mouth better. Right, little one beating to it. What you'll do, there's another garfish. See that when you put that angle on it, you get that corner mouth hook up. So I'm talking about because it's hard to hook him in that beak there. So you're going to make sure you get it in the corner. That's what helps put that little bit of angle on your rod. Yep, we got him. Good size. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Size gar, look perfectly in the corner of the mouth. It's a good size for eating, even the bucket. Got a few there in the bucket. Perfect live baits, also good to eat. So get down there and try to get some yourself. And I'll put a picture of the uh, rig that I use with the float to catch them at the end of this video. Good luck. <laughs>